Most 3D applications use a workspace system where you choose a different workspace to work on a different area and each, the UI changes accordingly. ZBrush has something similar and it's called UIs. Up here on these two buttons you can load different UIs. So load next UI, load previous UI and you can go and cycle through the different UIs that are saved inside this folder. User interface layouts inside of Z startup. So all these UIs are the ones that I'm cycling through using these buttons up here. And you can also change colors using these other two buttons. To load a specific UI, you need to go to preferences, go into config and load UI. And that will usually take you to startup, user interface layouts, and you can load the UI. So what we're gonna achieve in this tutorial is we're gonna create buttons that will take us directly to a specific UI. So right here, I, got, I have three UI set up. So if I go into my menu here and I press workspace A, I get that button as the remesher. Workspace B, I get it as divide. And C, I get it as dynamesh. Now I'm only using a button, but you can have loads of different stuff here and sub palette and trays open with different things. Well, I use the menu up here to simulate what other uh, softwares use, but you also have, can do this with uh, these buttons. As you can, if you look at that button, you see that these are different UIs loading up. So we're gonna achieve these using macros. Let's get started. Okay, so let's see how we can set these up. In the description below, you'll find a link to this file. And if you open this file up in a text editor, this is what you get. You have two variables here that you'll need to change. The first variable is the full path to the, containing the user interface that you want to add to the button. And the second variable down here is what's going to show up in the pop-up text when you hover the button. If you're on a Windows system, this is probably going to work to load up your default UI. On a Mac, you might need to make some changes. Now, how can I get this path here? If I go into my Z startup and then go into user interface layouts, here are all the layouts I have saved. Here's the default one. So if I copy this up here, then I go back to my text file. I'll paste it here. And all I'd have to do is add one more of these guys, forward slashes, and write down the file name right there. So for example, if I wanted a different one, like Mad Pony all in one, I could copy this file name, control C, and then I would come here and paste it right there. Now I'm going to stick with the default one. And as you can see, my drive is not C, it's E, where I have Pixelogic ZBrush installed. I'm going to leave the pop-up as default for now, and I'm going to save this as a save as, and I'm going to navigate to my Z startup folder ZBrush the startup and I'm going to save this inside macros mask or if you like you can create a new folder call it whatever you like I'm going to call it UI buttons and I'm going to save it in there now the name which you save the file as is the name that the button will have so I'm going to leave it as default UI or actually just default save now if I go back into ZBrush and I press come here to macro and I press reload all macros. I have misc and I have UI buttons. Okay, and that's the default one. If I press this now, it loads up my default UI. And notice when I hover the button, it says default UI. That is set up right here, default UI. So now if I go back to my text document, I can now Inside the user interface layouts, I have these guys, workspace A, B, and C. So I'm going to change these default here to workspace A. And for my pop-up, I'm just going to use the same name. You can use any name you want here in the pop-up. I'll just call it workspace A for simplicity. And I'm going to file, save as, and it's already in my macros and inside of that new folder I created. So I'll just call this workspace A and that will be the name of the macro. So I'll save that. Now I'll just do B and here the same thing, B, file, save as, and now it's gonna be B, save, and finally I'll do C. So 
file C there and C there file save as and that's going to be C save as okay if now if I come back to my macros and I press reload all macros now I got this these other buttons down here and so you can if you go to preferences and you enable customize you can drag these guys anywhere you like so I'm just gonna grab them come down here and perhaps I'll place them there okay so if I go into preferences turn off enable customize save this UI this is the third UI I think it was C yes save yes okay so now I have to do the same thing on all the other the other two in workspace B in workspace A and in default probably if I was going to use default now you can also create a custom menu and I'll do just that so with my prefaces docked here to the right if I press enable customize and I shift click this guy I can create a new menu so I can call this work spaces save that and now there's my new menu workspaces and if I dock this guy to the left let's dock it to the left here it's nothing in it but we want to place our nice little macros in there okay let's just reorganize this I want A, B, C, that's right. Okay, so, and these workspaces menu would have to be done in all the other ones as well. Now, because I only added like a, a little button here, I'm just gonna save this as, uh, change this button and save it as the, the different workspace and leave it as it is. Now, you can also grab this menu here and place it on the menu shelf. Okay, and that's what I'll do here. If I press these menus, I only get those workspaces right there, and I got them down there. So what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, take this out of here, and I'll save this UI. I just want to save it as is. So I'll save this UI, opening up menus here, and going to preferences save UI I'm gonna save this one as A yes replace okay so this will be A with Z remesher and now I'm gonna save another one with a different button <clears throat> let's do divide so I gotta press enable customize let's do let's take this out of here grab divide place it there and close that guy going to preferences turn off enable customize save this as B yes okay and now I'm just gonna use a different one so preferences enable customize take these out of here and I'll grab I already have the Z remesher so I'm gonna grab Dynamesh okay close that go back into preferences and save this one as C okay so they're all saved with these workspaces uh, custom menu and they're all saved with this now I can cycle them through these buttons or to these menus so workspace A gives me Z remesher B gives me divide C gives me dynamesh so A B C so of course I only used one button but you can use a bunch of different buttons a bunch of different stuff here and that's how it works so I hope this is useful for you guys if you like to work with workspaces like that and just take advantage of it and I'll see you in the next video